Spring is a great time of the year to restart birding activities. And this year, the Crayer Preserve and Nature Center has a new focus on birding. This focus has been made possible in part by the generous support of the dedicated Crayer patrons on Tiger Giving Day 2019. In this video, we'll describe our Bluebird project and also take you on a birding walk led by the Birmingham Audubon Group. We are very proud of our Bluebird project, which is capably led by Margaret Holler and supported by Hal Smith. We are using Cornell University Nest Watch apps to place and monitor up to 20 Bluebird nesting boxes around the preserve. At this time, we have seven eggs in incubation in two nesting boxes. Our spring bird walk led by Birmingham Audubon was a big success with over 110 birders and wildlife enthusiasts in attendance. But we are very happy to have you out at the Prairie Preserve and Nature Center. Um, good birding, check it out. We've been so excited to be on the Piedmont Birding Trail. And, um, it was a, a labor of love from Lou Sharp. Hiding in the back. Um, we are very lucky to be on the flyway and we just get some great stuff. And we have a bald eagle nest about a mile from here. So we get the eagles to fly over sometimes and we have lots of raptors. And we had a very one of my teachers, but we've been hearing uh, barred owls talking back and forth a lot lately. And which is part of the Alabama Bird Trail who are flying beautiful Um having the Prayer Preserve as a partner in this birding trail, you could not ask for a better partner. They are enthusiastic, they have the property, they have the staff, and they have the guests to make it just a wonderful birding site. Um, the Piedmont Plateau region has about 40 sites in nine counties. I won't bore you with more details than that. There are over <coughs> 4 million acres of property that's on the birding trail in the Piedmont region. That's a lot of, that's a lot of places to go. Well, I hope you enjoyed today. As you see or hear a bird, holler out. I'm making a list. We already have the Canada Goose. He was very, very vocal about his presence here today. So, um, and if you have any questions, I may be able to answer them. I may not. I'm clerical. I don't know very many birds. So have a great day. Enjoy yourself, and we hope to see you back here. I'm going to introduce Greg Barber with Birmingham Audubon. They are gracious enough to come down here today and go through this walk. So here we are, and my first time here was actually about three weeks ago when I came with uh, Linda Neighbors, who is my co-trip leader today, and she's up here. And we really had a very enjoyable visit. Even though it was kind of a cool, windy, wintry kind of day, we had lots of birds. So that was a good thing. And so it, it portends that we'll have a good day today, but we have much nicer weather, and the birds are singing, of course. I'm hearing the chip mice and the chickadees. Um, so our goal today is to see as many birds as we can. So how many of you would consider yourself a birder already? A number of you are. And how many of you are just like rank not? <laughs> okay. right. So what we're going to do, we're going to split up our group, and we're just going to get um, Paul Franklin in here, and Barry Fleming, some of my birding friends, uh, Paul was in Birmingham, and actually Paul is the one who mentioned the birding trail, Paul was the one that went around all the sites and did the site description of all of these places. And the photographs. 
and the photograph. So in addition to the prayer preserve, um, another birding place on the birding trail is the Opelika Wood Duck Preserve at Sadiqi Nature Park, which is just a couple miles from here. And so that's going to be, uh, you all are invited to go there, but that's where we're, the Birmingham Audubon Group is planning to go this afternoon. We have a, uh, a two o'clock appointment, if you want to call it that, at the Raptor Center at Auburn, not the Raptor Center. And so when we're done there, we're planning to join Barry. So could you just say a little bit about what there and these people want to plan to meet? I can, and uh, again, uh, thanks for all of you for coming down. I'm going to have to take that picture of y'all real quick. This is the biggest group of bird watchers ever in Lee County. <laughs>
we're not finished yet, but we're starting to number them. So this is number 14, and we think we're going to put a 15 in um, near what we have, call a sensory garden. But we are looking for monitors, but we're going to get organized as far as the eBird uh, uh, monitoring system. So we're excited about the bluebird trail. Yeah, I'm that hat. Get the bark to get underneath, the, to get at the insects and the grubs that are under the bark. But then they'll also kind of work with the plants over the cell. Um, but this is also a bird that will come to your feeder. So if you've got sunflower seeds, um, that's a really good uh, food source. And then black oil is a really good choice uh, for a lot of birds. But it's a small little thing, and they, they tend to hang out, unfortunately, up in the canopy. It sounds a little bit like a squeaky dog toy. So if you're listening, and you, it sounds like, oh, is that the neighbor's dog or my dog with a, a new toy? <laughs> Actually, it, it really does sound like a squeaky, squeaky toy. They're tall. <coughs> and the, the tufted titmouse is still continuing to do the feeder feeder. So, the brown-headed neck hatch is so... During the birding hikes on March 23, 2019, the Cornell eBird cell phone apps were utilized to identify and monitor the birds we observed. Six birder groups identified 76 birds representing 41 species over a two-hour period during the birding hike. Birds identified included vireos, warblers, finches, sparrows, woodpeckers, nuthatches, thrushes, and owls. Preserve is home for many bird types, and we invite you to come out and enjoy them with us.